Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow voter named John. John asks, Jeff, I've got two engines, each with an alternator, makes sense, and each with its own dedicated starting battery. Again, makes sense. Check. For a maximum starter battery redundancy and maximum house battery charge rate, I would like each alternator to be able to charge both engine batteries as well as the house battery. Okay. So in this instance, uh, let's recap a little bit of the question because it goes further. We've got two engines with their own alternators. Each engine has its own engine battery, of course, and a house battery. So there are three battery banks on this boat. And this is where it gets interesting because remember the word uh, that's being used over and over again here by John is redundancy. I like it. All right, let's keep going. John then says, can I use a three output battery isolator. And in case you're wondering what a battery isolator is, a battery isolator is a device where you can have an input and you can have three outputs. And the three outputs don't see each other. So they're actually isolated. So that's why it's called a battery isolator. And so you can have an alternate input and go to three places. Okay, so far so good. And he says, can I use that three output battery isolator on both alternators and connect the output so that both starter batteries and house batteries have complete redundancy, meaning that each alternator on each engine not only recharges at its own engine battery and the house battery, which is pretty common, but the third output would also recharge the other engine's battery, meaning that you could be underway with one engine and have that engine recharge three battery banks underway. Can you do that? That's the question John is asking. And the answer is absolutely. We do this all the time uh, because a lot of us want to have either engine because many boats have two engines. Not all of us, but some boats have two engines. We want to have two engines, dedicated alternators, and we have one house bank. And some of us might run an engine on starboard, right? And the other one on port. They might run both, might only run one, and they want either engine on either alternator to be able to recharge the house battery. So yes, you can absolutely have more than one battery isolator connected to one battery. So i.e. you could have two battery isolators in this instance connected to the same batteries and that would totally work. So that's a great question, John, and it's actually pretty common. That's part of our toolkit and we do this all the time. So great idea. You're going a little geeking out with the complete redundancy, but you know what? The difference between a one to two output battery isolator and the difference between that and a one to three is negligible. So why not have full redundancy? Makes sense. I like the thinking. Good one. Thanks for asking and thanks for everyone for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe Thanks again for watching.